Good afternoon, everybody. This is Sangeeta Saxena, editor, Aviation and Defence Universe, getting you live from DSEI in London. And what better than to be with the Indians doing an Indian footprint? It's just wonderful to see the India Pavilion and a lot of SMEs, MSMEs, you know, coming and showcasing their wear and products. Things we do not know that they've been a part of this journey where they have clientele all over the world. We are finding people here who really actually formed the base of Make in India. And today with us here, we have Girish Nilange, who's also with the core Rotary Connectors. Now, Rotary Connectors is a company which is making connectors for all uh, military products. And what better than to understand or what the company is all about and what their clientele in Europe is all about from the man himself. Welcome, Girish Ji, to ADU's chat room. Thank you. And we'd like to ask you sure. as to uh, what is important in DACI that you are here. Uh, thank you, first of all, for uh, uh, covering me in this interview. So, what's important for us in DSCI is to promote ourselves. So, we are a company, MSME company based in Bangalore, India, and we are uh, making products which are suitable for the world, world over. So, we want to take our products truly global, and uh, what's better way to do than to be part of such international events? So, our uh, our objective of being in DSCI is to network and promote ourselves in the global footprint. So also your clientele base shows that you already have a good uh, foreign clientele. Yes. So it's a good export market for you. Yes. So uh, what do, what actually do you supply to these clientele bases? Yeah, so we, uh, we make these uh, standard products uh, which you may call them as uh, spec products, spec based products. So they, any company would make they would follow the same specification. So we are an uh, indigenous company from India and we are uh, providing this as, a, as our products. So mostly it's all the defense uh, electronics that would use our connectors as their uh, raw material, if I may say. And are they for all the three forces and uh, paramilitary and homeland security? Yes, it is mainly for the three armed forces. Uh, land and marine taking the bulk of it. It's uh, mostly the communication equipment, the radar equipment should uh, consume a lot of our products. Airborne also, because we recently have uh, our this product which is now airborne approved. So we have a product now specifically for the airborne also. Right, and uh, you, I'm sure, have all the mill standards to cater for. Yes. Are you also catering to the NATO standards? I am not really particularly aware, but we are uh, following the US mill spec. So naturally, it would be part of the NATO. And at DACI, how do you plan to expand your export market? So, as you would have noticed, uh, our uh, European space is pretty blank. We have uh, a big uh, market in the US and certain parts in the Middle East, but the European region is pretty vacant. So, this is where we would want to start uh, building network customers. Uh, so, they are pretty standard products, so it is just for us to uh, bring uh, awareness that we are a company making these products. Right. And you have your manufacturing lines in India? Where in India? Yeah, in Bangalore, South India. In we have three facilities uh, where we are operating. And in India, uh, I expect that you also have an Indian market. Yes. So, uh, what, what is the Indian market like? Our uh, biggest customer is Bharat Electronics Limited. And then, of course, HAL, the DRDO Labs, and then BDL. So all the companies which are making defense. Now we see a lot of private people coming into the picture like the Tata's, the Mahindra Defense. So we are, they are also all our customers. Right. And uh, what is the size of the company like? I mean, how, how big and what is the we office size like? We are about uh, close to 220 people. So that's that and we have uh, three facilities as I just mentioned earlier. So we are a pretty uh, small size company but we are growing fast. Very nice. And uh, at the moment, uh, you, uh, your board says US, Italy, Turkey, South Africa, Israel, Australia. So, uh, keeping in mind that you have a big market, uh, what is uh, what is the process of sticking to the standards they want? Do you have a training process where you train your manpower and your technicians to produce to international standards? Yes, 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 we do. That's a very good question as well. So we are an aerospace standard uh, certified company, AS93100D is a certification we have. Over and above, we have uh, something called as MIL-790. It's a certification provided by the US military. 
uh, which is a prerequisite for us to make this product and supply to them. So you are right, we have a very strong and robust training process in-house where any new employee joining in the company would know about the standards, the quality, the reliability because when we are making a military product, there should be nothing left to chance. And now, because it's day one at the show, how has the footprint been for you here? Oh, it's uh, surprisingly very, uh, very high. We thought the first day would be a slow running day, but I was pleasantly surprised. We had a very good uh, uh, visit so far. Right. Thank you so much and wish you all the best and Thank hope you. you make a great European market. Thank you.